Hey, it's me Destin. Welcome back to Smarter Every Day. We're at NASA's Neutral Buoyancy Lab. And what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna walk over there and we're gonna go see an astronaut get suited up right here in order to go in the pool and do a little training. So when, when they pressurize him, does it get, I'm assuming it gets more difficult for his fingers and things like that, right? It becomes much stiffer. I mean, think of whatever he does, you know, is, is like what you and I would have to do in our kitchen with oven mitts or like ski gloves. Right. All day for six and a half hours. Try to live your life that way. That's what he's doing on the wall. Look at that tool belt. That is amazing. And then the tool belt, the tools actually fold down, like almost like to be a plate in front of you so you can see them. Right. Because they're up against him. You can't actually see what he's doing. So you got a camera. I see a drill. It's a mock-up drill, right? That's not that's not a real drill on, on his left there. That's a pistol grip tool, that's what we call it. It's just basically like a drill. Gotcha. That's amazing. And he's got his dive cards there on his his forearm. Those are his procedures. My favorite thing is um, up by his helmet he has lights and he has cameras. So on the ground you can see exactly what he's doing. What right. He's done. Do you guys actually transmit that in the pool as well? Mm-hmm. You do? To the test conducting room, you can see what it looks like as an instructor and what you, you can observe. You can see what he's doing. So he's checking out his tools right now. Okay, so he clips in any tool he's going to use. Right. That's awesome. Food's been pressurized. Has it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we do that before we put tools on. Oh, really? That way if we drop the tool, the suit's pressurized, it'll help save something. Really? Huh. I can come over here? This is my spot, huh? Thank you so much. Thank you very much. You got a good rig, man. You got a cool rig there. How many hours will you dive a day? Six. Six? Yeah. You realize you have the most awesome job in the world besides that guy, right? <laughs> By far. <laughs> it's, it's rad. You definitely have a better one though. So imagine they're doing safety checks now. You got two divers looking at him. This guy's filming. So as with any dive, the first few minutes are used to check all your gear. I'm Hector Terrace. Hector? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Hector. Nice to meet you. All right, so this is what he's doing? So no, this, uh, this is the one that was on your side, and that's the one that was on the other side. So even one, even two, even one has a red stripe. Yep. So when they're doing EVAs, you can tell who they are. You can see it has no stripes. EV3, they have, EV3 would have slashes, and EV4 would have dashes. So you can, you can tell which uh, EVA on a black and white camera showed up pretty good. Oh, I see. So you just have to have the contrast there. That makes sense. So the first, the first few minutes of the dive, they're just doing all the safety checks, right? Right. They're, uh, they've already checked for leaks. There's no leaks. They've got, we've got to go from the suit engineer to go down the water. We'll take him off down and stand in the way him out and make sure he's relatively neutral where he doesn't have to fly himself down or have to be pulled down. Right. And right now they're just uh, doing a preliminary way out. Okay, so they're spinning him now, right? Well, they're, they're just making sure how neutral he is. I see. Before they bring him to the down line. On the down line, they'll fine tune him to the bottom at 40 feet and they'll uh, fine tune his way out. How do you trim him? Just add and, add and take uh, away weight, just like he always? Might, he might list to one side or list to another, and he'll swip, swap weights one or the other. They'll put him on his back. They'll, if he uh, wants to go belly down, they'll put more weights on his back. If he goes the other way, they'll put more weights on, his, on the other side. Uh, it's just fine tuning. Sometimes you just need foam. Sometimes they're waiting up and need more foam. So do you ever decrease the air? No. Okay, so air is the constant. Yeah, the, uh, the seats are, are four pounds delta. So that's a... Uh, so it's like 18.7 like PSI is what they stay at? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So they get him trimmed out? Uh, they're just the preliminary. They're going to bring him down. They'll trim him out at the bottom right now. I mean, it looks like he's trimmed out, but not yet. Gotcha. Uh, they're also putting the safer on them. Uh, That'll add a little more weight to them as well. Putting a what on them? Safer. What's that? Uh, safer is like in case they, uh, something happened with the tether, they got a little jet pack. They can go ahead and 
pull out and it'll have a little sudden burst of uh, direction to go one way or the other. Really? So they have a little controller that comes up the side and they control left, right, forward, backwards. And uh, it's kind of like a propulsion. It works underwater as well? Uh, no, no, this is just a mock-up, but it's, it, gotcha. it gives them the uh, room as far as confinement when they get into uh, the airlock. Uh, whatever they hit, bump, and it's, it's there for uh, dimensional purposes. Got it. Yeah, it's, so they get used to the, the physical right. it being there. Dude, thank you so much for it. It was Hector, right? Yes. Thank you for your time. I really oh. appreciate that, man.